Hello everyone, in this video we would be looking at a simple formula which is VLOOKUP in Excel but with a trick or a complexity with having different or more than one data table, data table or I would say database, more than one database. So as you can see on the screen, I have four database that is a four zone, east, west, north and south and I need to look up or pull the details on the basis of sales IDs. For example, I would put any of the sales ID from these four tables and I should get the details. So this is what we are going to see in this video. And we are going to do this with a simple formula of VLOOKUP. Let's see how we can do it. So uh, for example, uh, I'll put a, a code over here and I need the details. It's simple as we can get these details from VLOOKUP. So I'll just apply the formula of VLOOKUP. Table array would be the whole table and for column I'll use the formula of column and the row for I'll give the reference of V2 as the column it is and 0 for false, exact match and hit enter. And I've got the right answer. Yes, C2 is for the amount. I'll drag it. Okay, so I've not, I guess I've not fixed the table array so i'll just fix this up absolute and then i'll drag it and yes i'm getting the answer just need to convert this to percentage and you can see that uh, if i change any of my lookup value this is giving me a right answer but let's see uh, i am putting this value so this is not giving me an answer the reason is simple that I have just added one table array and it would hence it would give only the answers of this table array. So I need to include all the four table arrays in my formula so that it reads all the sales IDs or the sales person ID number and gives me the details. So what I can do is what I need to do is I need to apply VLOOKUP for four times for that four different tables. I have done it for one, I have done once, I will do it for more three times and then let's see how we can get the answer. So I will again apply VLOOKUP over here, the lookup value would be the same, only the thing is, uh, only the thing that would change is the table array. So I will put comma. I'll move to table array and I'll select this table array. I'll just fix this again. Again, the formula of column P2, comma Z for the exact match. So this is done for the second time, and now I need to do it for more two times for the west zone and the south zone. So what I can do to uh, do it quickly, I can just copy this formula. And instead of just applying the full formula, I can just paste it by just changing the table array. This would be a smart work. So I'll just select the table array and I'll fix this up. Done. And once again for the south zone. Over here also, what I'll do is I'll change the table array again to the zone of south. And I'll fix it. So I have applied VLOOKUP for the for four times for the four different table. If you have five six, you'll have to apply it for five six times. And let's see if I enter it. Enter what happens? This gives me an error. Why is this error coming? Because Excel is only able to read the first formula, but it is it it can see that there are many formula which are not being read. So that is the formula. Uh, we have applied four formula but Excel is only able to read the first formula and that is why it is this error is coming. So we need to put or modify our formula in a way that if Excel does not get our answer in the first formula it should jump to the second. If not in the second it should go in the fourth and the third and the fourth I would say. So for that we have one formula which is known as if error. If error works in a way where the, if you don't get, if you were getting error in the first formula, 
please go to the second formula and see if you are getting the answer. If not, go to the third. So it works only for the if, if I am applying one, if error for one time, it would only jump to the next formula once. For example, if I am applying if error once, it would see if I am getting the answer in the first formula, no. Then it will go to the second formula, so once. So that is the reason I have applied VLOOKUP for the four times. Excel would be able to read the formula for the first time, that is the first formula, but I have three more formulas. So I will have to put if error for three times. This is one time, if error again, and then if error again. As you can see, if I, once I put if error, the tables are getting been highlighted over here. If this has been highlighted. And now, once I put if error three, uh, three times, I need to close the bracket. So, first bracket would not, first VLOOKUP would not be closed with if error because Excel would be able to read the first formula. The problem is it is not able to read from second formula. So, I will go to the second formula where it ends and I will put a bracket of if error over here. Over here again, then again in the third formula where the VLOOKUP ends and again over here where the VLOOKUP ends and that's it and then we can hit enter and now you can see when I drag this up I'll get the right answer I'll just need to convert this to percentage and now I can see see if I change any of the cell reference it's giving me answer from all four tables and that is how you can do VLOOKUP with multiple database. You need to apply VLOOKUP for the time. Oh, sorry, it's just change it. I'll just copy this and I'll paste this. You will see I am I put I, if I'm putting any of the sales ID, it's giving me the answer. So what I have used over here is VLOOKUP and if error. We look up four times we look up for the four database and three times if error because Excel is able to read VLOOKUP for the first time but it's not able to read the next VLOOKUP how many of them are. So you will have to put one less if error than the data tables that you have. If you have five data tables, you will put if error for four times. And that's how you can do VLOOKUP with different data tables. I hope this video will help you. Uh, thank you very much.